Hi there. I'm Elisa here. I'm so happy you could join us today. I've been having so much fun staying inside and playing with my plants. Can I let you in on a little secret? I can talk to worms. Yes, they speak to me and they tell me all about their adventures down below. Did you know? Worms are very important creatures. Yes, they help make the earth a better place by they use their all their muscles and to make sure and to dig lots of holes and lots of tunnels so the earth can get water and air. Kinda like us. We use our muscles and our bodies in order for us to breathe and drink water and keep us healthy. <gasps> oh, Elisa, Elisa, there are humans, humans. Oh, calm down, Squirmy, calm down. Those are my friends, no need to worry. Oh, they're your friends? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm very upset about my friend. Oh, oh, hey, friends, if you want to help... I I think we should help out Squirmy, don't you think? Well, what's wrong? Oh, well, I just got to keep digging these tunnels all alone, and this is no fun, and I just want to play with Phil and be with Phil. Phil? 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 Who is so That's just so bad. That's just, that's all good, good old filthy. You know, my friend filthy, filthy, my friend. Oh, filthy, yes, is that his new nickname? Yeah, that's his new nickname. Oh, very good, very good. Well, what's wrong? Well, I was lonely, and I decided to squeeze on by into Phil's tunnel, but there wasn't much room, and he said he had responsibilities. We have to do whatever that means. Well, you know, you worms do have a lot of special uh, responsibilities. Well, I don't even know what that means. Oh, well, responsibility means that you are in charge of doing. You see, as worms like you, Squirmy, you dig many tunnels and holes to make sure the earth stays healthy and so the earth can get air and water. Oh, well, I know that, but I just want to, you know, I just want to dig tunnels and be with Phil all the time, but he doesn't want to be near me, and that's why I got so upset. Hmm. I think I understand how you and Phil is feeling. You do? Yes, yes, Wormy, yes, I do. You see, it seems like Phil just want a little bit of personal space, you know. He just needs, he needs, um, he wants personal space so the earth, um, can have space to breathe. And so there's room to make, you know, more tunnels. Then why can't we just get all our friends together and build one big tunnel? Well, I think what Phil is trying to say is that you worms need to make as many tunnels, as many as many as you can to help the earth. And if you all you worms uh, together, you won't be able to do your job. And then the earth won't be able to grow. Well, what is too close then? Well, worms. Well, he has arms and legs and spin around in our place three times very, very, very slowly. And if we touch anything or if anything's in our way, that means they're in our physical, personal space. Try that at home. Okay? Then one, then two, then three. Okay, if you touched anything, they're in your personal space. And wait, maybe we can pretend to be worms too. And then remember, if you touch anything, okay, so here's what I do. I'll go like this. Like this, like this, and like this. Oh, oh boy, I really was in Phil's personal space. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you 
squirmy, squirmy, squirmy. You see, you were in Phil's physical person, but it also sounds like Phil just needs to concentrate on his responsibility. Well, physical, personal space, but I get very lonely when there's too much space. Okay, you see, we have really big responsibilities, and sometimes you need personal space in order to concentrate. Well, uh, uh, what do you mean? Well, when worms are working really, really hard, just like humans, we can't focus on our responsibilities when there's too much of um uh, when there's too much of us around. That could be maybe digging a hole or reading a book or working from home. Um, so sometimes we just need to focus on that. Oh well, I I I think I understand. You see, I mean, I don't think Bill and the other worms don't want to be with you. I think they just get more work done when they're alone. You know. I'm the same way. I get more. I get more things done when I'm alone, and sometimes it's really, really fun because I get to do things the way I want to do them. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I understand. Sometimes I do my best digging when I'm alone, and I'm by the roots of the flowers right before it rains. Yes, and I bet Phil likes to dig by the tree right after it rains. You see, for me, like. Personal space isn't always about being physically apart from each other. It's also having room to think and do our responsibility the best that we can. Well, Joe, but I still get lonely. <laughs> oh, for me, I get lonely too. Hey, friends at home, if you ever get lonely, can you come? Comment of a heart down below. If you ever get lonely at home. Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, see? You see, for me, our friends at home get lonely, too. Just like you and me. But you want to know something? It sometimes is lonely, but... When I get a little lonely, I like to sing a song when I'm doing my responsibilities because it reminds me to keep working hard and to keep to my personal space. But, okay, but that seems like a lot, a lot of work. <sighs> well, it's not easy, Squirmy. You know, all of us work together, we can create really, really big change. So here's the song what I'm singing. Um, I usually sing this song to whatever I'm doing. But since you're going to be digging, we can switch up the words, and you can think of this, you can, when you sing the song, you can think of me and not get so lonely. Oh, th that sounds great. Uh, how does it go? Okay, remember, I changed the s lyrics to whatever I'm doing. We're going to change it to digging. Try along at home with us, okay? Here we go. To sing the song. Just keep digging, just keep digging. Just keep digging, digging, digging. What do we do? We dig, dig. I have to dig. When you work, you dig. You keep on digging. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Just keep digging, digging, digging. What do we do? We dig, dig. I have to dig. When you work, you digging. Just keep digging. Singing that song as many times as you want. Oh, that's a that's a great song. I, I can sing that song when I feel lonely. I'm doing my responsibilities. Oh, I can. That means I, I can start heading towards the flowers alone to focus. I start having fun. Oh, for me, I am so proud of you. You know. Well, thanks, Alisa, and thank you, friend. For helping me explain what responsibility means and personal space. It's important to have personal space for me and the worm and myself can do our job. I go. Bye, Lisa. Bye, friend. Oh, we'll see you later, Sunny. Make sure you stay in your tunnel. Bye.
Thank you so much for helping me with Squirmy the Worm. I know he's going to use his personal space to focus and his friends to concentrate and focus on their Squirmy kind of reminds me that I should use my personal space too to help those around me and so they can do their responsibilities. Wow, I'm learning so much from Squirmy and from the all of you at home. Sometimes we want to play with others, but they need to focus on their responsibilities, like their work. I have a question for all of you at home. What are some help you remember to use your personal space even when it's hard. You have a minute and 30 seconds to respond. So a lot of you have said you just find ways to play by yourself and you can spin around three times and make sure you're not close to others and think about a personal bubble. Those are all really good ideas. And thank you so much for sharing them with me. But guys, did you know that I have more friends that are going to be sharing their lessons too? That's right. We have more programming this afternoon for third third through fifth graders at 3 p.m. today. And you're going to be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for preschool through second grade. If you comment and share and like, we'll, we'll be able to meet new friends and we can all learn new things together. Thank you so much for helping me today and with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day.